What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and as of today we are returning to discussing Anthem lore. For those of you who are new to the channel or unaware, when I first started out on YouTube I was the first channel covering and discussing Anthem lore regularly. Obviously things have changed since PAX West with, you know, our technical issues beginning and more new news than there is new lore to go over. Nevertheless, we are getting back on track today with one of my personal favorite groups to talk about, the Legion of Dawn. But more specifically, their javelins. Something just doesn't add up about their suits, or at least their roster. A little background on the Legion of Dawn to give you guys an idea of how important these legends were. Let me give you a quote from the Legion of Dawn edition of the game. In the darkest chapter of humanity's history, it was the Legion of Dawn who brought us into the light. How did they bring us into the light? Sufficient to say, their development and creation of the first javelins played a huge role in this. But something is off about that statement, or at least the promotional art for the group. As you can see here from the Legion of Dawn edition of the game, we are given four skins, one for each javelin, in the Legion of Dawn style for pre-ordering this edition. However, thanks to details from the EA Anthem website, we have some conflicting information specifically with the Storm and the Interceptor variants. This is a quote from the Get to Know the Storm article, which I will link in the description below. The Storm Javelin first arrived in Fort Tarsus as a rumor, developed by the Dominion in their northern home of Stralheim. Only through painstaking Arcanist research has anyone outside the Dominion had the chance to wield the awesome potential of the SEAL technology. This is followed up by a quote from the Get to Know the Interceptor Javelin article, which, of course, I will link in the description below. As the smallest and the sleekest of the Javelins, the Interceptor is favored by Corvus's long-range scouts, infiltrators, and assassins, which could potentially mean the Interceptor Javelin was developed by Corvus to suit the agent's needs, but that isn't confirmed. Before we go any further, I guess this is a good point to say none of this is confirmed, the lore can change at any given point in time before the game comes out, this is just something that's kind of a discrepancy in my eyes, or something that doesn't seem to fit quite right. So what first gave me pause was the fact that the storm was developed by the Dominion, and in Strollheim, but no mention of the Legion of Dawn being its creators. Some of you may be thinking something along the lines of, what if the Dominion was around before the Legion of Dawn? Now, I would be inclined to agree with you all were it not for this next quote in the official Anthem Wikipedia. They, the Legion of Dawn, were the first Javelin pilots, and many say the greatest. By their skill and courage, human civilization was able to develop. Their protection allowed the construction of fortified settlements, safe from the corruption and dangers of the outside world. While there is a possibility the Dominion could have been around before the Legion of Dawn, I'd relegate that to a less than 1% chance. The world of Anthem is beyond dangerous, and before the Legion of Dawn, humanity would have more than likely had a hard time surviving, period. What with literally everything being primed and ready to kill us. But take this next quote, that by their skill and courage, human civilization was able to develop. Now, I would be stupid to say if that was an absolute, and given the scale of Anthem's world, I'm sure there were settlements all over the globe. But again, that is such a small possibility to the point that I won't even consider it a possibility. The quote continues on to say, their protection allowed for the construction of fortified settlements, safe from the corruption and dangers of the outside world. This only further Further's my point. I sincerely doubt the Dominion could have existed before this, and since the official Anthem site says the Storm was developed by the Dominion, this leads me to believe the Storm Javelin wasn't in the Legion of Dawn's roster, especially with the Legion of Dawn being the first to create the Javelins. Which then brings us to the Interceptor. This one is more of a 50-50% chance that this Javelin was actually in the Legion's roster. Simply put, I personally believe the Interceptor wasn't an original Javelin by the Legion of Dawn, but rather developed a few hundred years later by Corvus to suit their needs and the needs of their agents, especially with its default appearance sporting the confirmed Corvus insignia and the quote that it is favored by Corvus's long-range scouts, infiltrators, and assassins. Granted, that doesn't necessarily mean that it was created by the Legion or Corvus, just that it's their favorite suit. The Interceptor still remains our most unknown suit, but just hang tight, new information is inbound. However, I'm not quite done yet. We've already scratched off the Storm and possibly scratched off the Interceptor, but that kind 
kinda leaves two more suits to discuss, the Colossus and the Ranger. Believe it or not, we really don't know too much on the Colossus, at least lore-wise. In all seriousness, the Colossus appears to be just a more heavily armed and armored Ranger Javelin base. Granted, there are a slew of differences, but this one makes more sense to have actually been on the Legion of Dawn's original team. However, it is also possible that in the time of the Legion of Dawn, the Ranger was the only suit designed by them, and once civilization was created and fortification became more of a pressing issue than anything else, the Colossus was developed to meet those needs. Keep in mind, none of this is confirmed, and all of this is speculation, but this just makes sense to me. Lastly, we have the Ranger Javelin that, well, let's face it, was definitely on the original Legion of Dawn roster. The Ranger was the first Javelin ever developed, and it is also the first one that we will actually get to use and pilot, and not to mention they are literally everywhere in Fort Tarsus. For instance, here we can see two Ranger statues at the entrance of some sort of old plaza. Rangers are shown in the marketplace, and even the Sentinels and what appear to be bodyguards share their shape, or at least their base chassis. However, none of that really matters, you know, the marketplace and the Sentinel business, but the statues are what's fascinated me the most as evidence. Given that Fort Tarsus is 500 years old, and the Legion of Dawn were the heroes that brought humanity into the light, and let's be frank, save them for being prey 24-7, it would stand to reason that statues would be built in their honor, or in their armor as it were. The first real civilization on the planet was built thanks to their efforts, and the efforts of General Helena Tarsus, which Fort Tarsus is named after. However, notice that you don't see any Colossus, or Interceptor, or Storm statues. Granted, we haven't even seen a fraction of Fort Tarsus yet, but from what information we already have been given and from what we have seen, I get the feeling that the Rangers were the first Javelins and the only Javelins on the original Legion of Dawn team. And personally, I'm okay with that. That makes perfect sense. But that leaves us with the Legion of Dawn pre-order exclusives and why they exist if the Ranger and possibly Colossus were the only suits to be a part of the original Legion of Dawn team before they went their separate ways. Honestly, it's probably marketing. Pre-order this edition and get these absolutely badass skins for all four Javelins. And hey, I'm not complaining, but from a lore standpoint, or at least from what we know of as of right now, only one or two javelins were actually slash possibly LOD. Does this bother me? Absolutely not, and certainly not enough to not pre-order the Legion of Dawn edition. But what do you all ultimately think about this? Do you have any theories on the javelins of the Legion of Dawn? Let me know in the comments section below, or join our Discord to, well, join in on the Anthem conversation. Thank you all as ever for subscribing, watching, and providing feedback. It means the world to me and helps the channel grow and progress rapidly. And a special thank you as always to my patrons for their generous donations and support of your Anthem. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day as always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.